Hi guys, I'm going to do makeup that I saw at the Jenny Packham show. Uh, it's fall winter 2012 and it was like kind of film noir inspired, um, really retro. Um, I can't do the exact hair that they had so I just did a different kind of retro hair. It's like more 60s, theirs was more like 40s. But um, yeah, I, I'm totally using a bump it. I can't get it that perfect without a bump it. Um, and I did just, uh, last night I dyed my hair back to my natural color. Um, just, it's just more like cost efficient. I, I'm trying to save money for university so uh, I don't really have, I don't know, I don't really have enough to keep dyeing my hair every month so this way I just don't have to dye it again. Um, and my eyebrows are almost grown back in. They're still, probably, they're probably a third blonde still. That's what I'd say. Yeah, like the the outline is kind of brown and the rest is blonde. Um, so I'm just going to get into it. It's kind of like a, a dusky eye, like a really smoky dusky eye, not too defined. And then a really cool um, black outlined lip. So I'm going to start with Painterly Paint Pot like I pretty much always do. Um, and I'm going to put that all over my eye. And I should probably zoom in a bit. I'm going to put that underneath as well. I'm going to start by using a color from my Inglot palette. It's this um, gray color right here. And that's going to go all over my upper lid. And I'm using this really awesome brush. It's called All Over Eyeshadow Brush from Quo. And I love it. It's like kind of in a way flat. I'm just putting that all over my um, mobile lid and then just up in the crease a bit. Now I'm taking that brown that I keep using in like every every video. It's this one. And I'm using an angled brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that. I'm going to line the lower lid, the lash line. I'm also going to take that all over shadow brush again and I'm going to put um, some of this sparkly dusky color. It's like a grayish taupe. And I'm going to put that um, kind of on the outer corner here. And what I love about these, I hope I mentioned these are Inglot colors. What I love about these Inglot colors is that they kind of just blend themselves. Then I'm going back to my angled brush and I'm using um, Beauty Marked from MAC, which is um, a sparkly, it's like a black with red sparkles in it, kind of. Putting that on my angled brush. I'm going to line my upper lash line. Nothing fancy, just go from where your eyelashes start to the outer corner.
And then I'm going to use my blending brush so that that's a, not an obvious line. And I'm also going to blend the lower lash line. Now I'm taking, I'm going to try this, I don't know if it's going to work, but Shell. It's a cream color base from MAC that I use really often. <laughs> and I'm going to put that, just a bit of that, up here in the very inner corner of my upper lid. And also the tear duct. I'm also going to take just a bit of that and put it in the center of my lid. Uh, I'm going to curl my eyelashes now. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I'm going to apply foundation now and I'm using my Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation in Fair. And I'm mixing that with quite a bit of Girl Meets Pearl from Benefit. It's called Liquid Pearl for Face. Their skin is really glowy and beautiful, so I want to get that out. Okay, now I'm going to use Shell again, that cream color base. And I'm going to put that all over my cheeks and cheekbones. And up on my temples. I'm going to put a bit of that just down my nose and then um, some all here on kind of the cupid's bow and up. They also have a really glowy forehead so I'm going to do that too. Why not? Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows, and the reason I didn't do my eyebrows before was because I didn't want to get any foundation in them and ruin them or something like that. So I'm just going to wipe that angled brush off on my wrist, the one I was using earlier for the black. And today I'm going to use Concrete Eyeshadow from MAC. This one right here.
That's it for my eyebrows. They were basically just following the natural shape of all the uh, girls' eyebrows and just making them like nice and natural looking and bold. Um, now for the most exciting part, which is the lips. Sorry, I keep looking in the actual screen of my camera because it's tilted and it's throwing me off, but I'm trying not to do what I always do, which is all that, like, trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it be. Um, oh yeah, lips. Where did I put that? Okay, I'm actually going to use a black pencil to line my lips. Um, I'm just going to use this just for the outline. Oh, by the way, the um, black pencil I'm using for my lips is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On in Zero. Now I'm just going through and pulling that down on my lips. Now I'm going to use Cyber Lipstick from MAC um, because it's just a really, really dark purple. And um, I'm using this lip brush, which is on the end of a Arbon lip pencil. And I'm just going to outline my lips again. And then the fill, the filler, like the inside of their lips, was actually pink. So I'm using this um, bosom lip lip gloss. I don't know what it's called. The name has rubbed off of it, but it is bosom or buxom, whatever. Um, and it's a lip gloss, plumping lip, plumping lip polish in Kanani. Um, now the girls at the show had kind of like a roll in the front of their hair, like they, there was kind of variations in the show, um, and it was beautiful. If, if you are interested in runway fashion, look at this, um, just Google Jenny Packham 2012, um, fall winter, or just 2012, and, um, oh my god, the, the fashions are really, really beautiful. Um, sorry my room's a mess, um, I keep my trash can up on my stereo because my little dog always tries to get to it. <laughs> sorry, I was talking about my sweater and my um, memory card was full after just half an hour of filming. Whatever. <laughs> and then uh, just with this sweater I have this, um, whoa. With this sweater I have this star skirt, which I love. It's really, um, it's actually really flowy. Maybe you guys can see if I can back up enough. It's flowy. I love it. So, um, that's it. Uh, and my next video will probably be something like grungy and dark for, uh, daytime. I know lots of people probably wouldn't wear this lip just on a regular day. <laughs> So, uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching it anyway, and check out the Jenny Packham show, it was beautiful. So, um, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.